Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Our friend Infamous has sent in a little replay file, so today we've got a match in the A6 M3 Zeros on an arcade battle. Uh, I can't remember what map this is, so we'll just call it the nice looking mountainous one. And we get to see a lot of different angles with it because the Zero can pull some crazy kind of G-force maneuvers in an arcade battle. So let's get stuck in. And here we are. So Infamous is buying out the Model 22 80 Century Zeros today. Not the Clipped Wing 32 model, which is the first one you get in the tree. These planes are more maneuverable than the Clipped Wing version, but have lower dive speed. Although none of that hugely matters in an arcade battle where you can't rip your wings or any such thing. Just flying, searching for targets at the moment. Seeing a gap of three in the background there. Always a dangerous aircraft, especially an arcade where it can have a reload on its 20, at least one 20 millimeter cannon. Can't tell if it's the Yak 3P from this distance. Always being constantly vigilant looking around as well. You can be swarmed from multiple different angles in an arcade battle. It's very, very fast and furious. You can obviously get swarmed in other modes as well, but you're highly unlikely to be jumped so quickly in a game. And you should have a little bit more time to prepare for it, which you definitely don't in an arcade battle. It's all about reactions. Spotting lots of different planes at the moment, but not choosing to go for any one of them. The Spitfire up there was too high, he's not going to be able to climb to get him. And just flying around in the clouds at the moment or picking a target to dive on. I've seen a couple down low there, but again, not really worth it at this point in time. And now comes in a tempting target, Focke Wolf 190. He's definitely got the advantage down at this level, because there's no way the Focke Wolf can manoeuvre with him. So the bide is time to get the right shot. Missed the first few volleys, and Runs through some teammates' fire as well there, but very, very easy to get on the Focke-Wolf's tail with the manoeuvrability of this zero. And it's back to searching for targets. Flying around with a lovely little diamond decal stuck over the top of this plane there and I was looking at this replay that sent me and I was thinking the way it's gone over the top of the cockpit almost looks like the cockpit's got a little bit of blood on it. Certainly not what you want there. He's being stalked by an LA-5 in the background there. Decides to turn into him. la is taking his eye off. And it's now coming in, so you need to loop away. You do not want to go heads on with an LA-5, doing some scissors. Just some quick left and right sharp maneuvers to try and shake the LA-5. And as long as you play it right, it's definitely... Oh, got a 109 coming in as well. And he's stuck between the two of them here. He should be out, he should be able to outmaneuver both of these planes now here. LA-5's got back on his tail now, but the LA-5 is not going to be able to turn with him. That is not the LA 5s game. He avoided heads up with two planes there. 109's giving him some shots, missing some shots. Flipping it round now to try and get back on target. The 109's occupied. And he's going to get a shot at the LA 5F here. That's a critical hit. And he's managed to get in on the tail. The LA 5 pilot has bailed. Not enough control of his aircraft. And that was just the 109. He's being chased down by this I-185 here. But you can't let him get away with that. Pumping shots out, and eventually it takes them down. And that is what happens when you try and turn fight with a zero at low altitude and you're not in another zero or maybe a Spitfire. Yak-3 coming in. Oh, it's a red one, so it's a Yak-3P. 
These Red Devils are heavily armed with dangerous planes in the right hand, so you don't want to leave them alone. He's managed to set them on fire. King Cobra's come in, taking out the I-185. And the second fire on the Yak-3P turns away now, thinking that's going to be the end of it for him. And then straight into a shot on a P-63. Another King Cobra. A lot of King Cobras around this area at the moment. Dodge the shots underneath. And maneuver around to get a shot on him. Oh, that was close. Very close there. Lots of shots going in. One disadvantage that the Japanese planes do have is there. We've taken some shots there, so they do have lower velocity guns. Now, Spitfire should be a good battle, but he's focused on someone else and actually makes himself an easy target. Spitfires can do a lot better against zeros at this altitude than many of the other planes he's been going at, but the Spitfire pilot had his eye on somebody else there, and Infamous was able to take advantage of that quite successfully. So we're saying Japanese guns tend to have lower muzzle velocity than other guns and their rate of fire isn't necessarily as high as well. The 7.7s on this are pretty much the same 7.7s throughout the whole Japanese tech tree. It's kind of like shooting other planes with a BB gun, so you're really relying mostly on the 20mm to do the work. Bob Wolf going past. It's not going to bother going for him, but he is going to go for the Corsair. Duck out the way of the heads on. Again, you don't need that. Corsair's a pretty strong plane. That looks like he's got a pilot snipe on there. Plenty of kills so far, but there's plenty more to come. Flying with the flax out at all times at the moment just to keep the maneuverability up so he can turn his way out of danger situations. Yeah, no, in case just put the hurt on one of his allies down there. And this is where we see the danger of RK battles. He's right behind the Yak 9K here, but he was in a definite lemming train there. And unfortunately for Infamous, he came out worse there. But you win some, you lose some. This is arcade battle, so definitely got more than one plane here. And he's straight back into battle, straight back into the action as well. And this time he's in the KO version, the Mod 22 Co, with the slightly longer gun barrels. Immediately comes into Undead Sniper in his P-51 Mustang. P-50 Mustang would have been a deadly opponent for the Zero. But not fighting in this kind of battle. The Mustang can pull away from him, but not fast enough. He's going to lose all his speed advantage when he starts to turn like that. Pulls up, and that's an easy kill. So a quick check. We're on eight kills now. Lots of stuff happening here. Always rolling over to make sure he stays behind the opponent. Oh god, that was close. A4 is not a high tier plane at this battle rating, but you don't want to let it get on the back of you with those four 20mm cannons. German cannons ruthlessly efficient. They will cut you down if you give them the slightest chance. Doesn't matter whether it's the 151s or the MTFS. They're both pretty decent. And the Zero is not exactly known as an armoured plane. But he got away with that one and he got the kill shot. He risked it and he got his chocolate biscuit. Lots of action happening around here. Pretty standard, really. 
There's lots of allies swarming in this area as well. Big explosions. And the boomerangs appeared. Popping shots off at the boomerang. They're great little planes, the boomerangs. And they can perform well in arcade because they can turn pretty well. And their lack of ammunition in the 20mm is not so much of an issue because you can reload them. Following this boomerang round. He's hit him there. And he's back down to the 7.7s again, which is using stealth ammunition. So you can see best how to aim the 20 millimeters. Still chasing this boomerang. And the 20 millimeters have come back up and that was the break you needed to finish off the boomerang. Japan one, Australia nil. It's fair to note that the boomerang was probably a little bit under tiered. More Yak 3s. Yak 3 p's very popular planes. I'm gonna follow this guy around here, but again needs to be careful not to get into another lemming train. The Yak 3 p's never gonna lose them around here. And he's learned that lesson now. Can't <laughs> be trying to get a last minute assist there on the fireball in Yak 3 p Yeah, lots of stuff going on in the background there. Stuff, we like stuff. Stuff with planes. That's what this part of War Thunder is about. Stuff with planes and stuff with tanks and stuff. Spitfire's gonna make himself a dead easy target. He doesn't see it coming. And that's the easiest kill of the game. Poor Spitfire had no idea what was going on there. Unfortunately, couldn't get in, in time to save the I-185. Again, you win some, you lose some. Still racking up the kill count, although the kills are coming fewer and far between now. At this point in time, the enemy team's actually winning because they've hit more ground targets, bombed out more bases. To keep an eye on that LA-5 up there. That's the time where an LA-5 is dangerous. They're not a pure boom and zoom or energy fires or anything like that, but they can, they can do it all. They can certainly do that better than the Zero can. The LA-5 seems to have lost interest. He's definitely going after other planes or somebody else in his sights. So as you can see from the ticket counter at the top, the enemy team's actually winning at the moment. They've bombed out more bases, they've bombed out more ground targets. They are now drastically losing on hardware. The best way for the team to play this one out now is just to try and take out all the enemy planes. Typhoon's coming in. Set them on fire. We've actually managed to get that one. Despite everybody, everybody's going to be going for these planes now. He's going to have a lot of competition for every single kill. He's on 12 at the moment. It's going to be a tough job to get any more with the state of play right now. That kind of is the way of arcade though. When you get into realistic and simulator, teamwork becomes a key factor. Arcade largely kill farming. Once you've racked up this level of kills, so with 12 kills, you kind of want to win the game. Feel that you put in your contribution, you want to win the game. We've got Wellington going in here. He's just bombed out the final enemy base. That's really leveled it up. And that puts him in a good position. It'd be nice to save him. Chase his P39 down. We've got Yak 9 on him as well. But it's too late. Oh! Suddenly, out of the clouds, Spitfire Mark 2B, this should be a decent battle. 
zero. There's a slight edge in turning, but Spitfire Mark II B is a, is a good turning plane as well. It's got some good cannons and good armaments in it. Always love the Hispanos. I'll be honest, I would take Hispanos over Type 99s any day of the week. They're just circling each other now. He's actually managed to get on the tail of him. Spitfire pilot's got nowhere to go now. Could have been a more interesting battle than that, but in the end, it's a pretty easy kill. And a little aileron roll to celebrate there. So the final question now is, are they going to win? It definitely looks like it. The tickets are massively in their favour. It would be a huge upset if somebody came in and beat them now. But can he make any last contributions to the battle here? A hurricane's appeared. Oh, the poor hurricane. It's a good plane. It's a good plane. It's an enjoyable plane to fly. I love hurricanes. But this poor guy... He is somewhat out of his depth now. It almost feels a bit mean to pick on him. But if you bring the plane in, you pay the price. He's, he's target fixated. And the hurricane. <laughs> hurricane is made out of wood and canvas coverings. It's going to burn. That's pretty much the last plane. In fact, it probably is the last plane. Might as well take out some ground targets while we're here. Sweeping round on one last target. Can we get it in time? No. And that was the match. Let's see what the results were. So, a pretty decent match there for Infamous. 14 kills, 5 assists, and 1 ground target. One little AAA at the end there just to finish things off. Good game, mate. Well played. So, as a little bonus, I've edited on one of the other clips that I uploaded previously. of us messing about in Poland, me in the KV-1B, and Barbs and his Tiger. And it wasn't the greatest video, but I've basically uploaded it because it had a pretty cool kill cam shot from Barb's. I won't spoil the surprise for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. I'll trim it so it doesn't extend the video too long, but there's some entertaining little verbal jabs between Barb's and I in it as well. So hope you enjoyed the little clip and the awesome kill cam. You should have came in the town, mate. That's where your tanks are a lot better than mine. Tigers are notoriously bad in towns. Where are you, little shit? I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. I'll tell you what, you definitely don't get as good a frame rates in tanks as you... Oh, no! Rear armour. No, oh, you missed! No, I hit you, just undamaged. Your armour's very thick. Oh, get off the bloody railings, I need to get away. <laughs> <laughs> Run, bitch. I'm coming after you. What's your max speed? I'll find you again. Oh no, I'm stuck. 
How can a fucking step stop the top of <laughs> I'm getting out of this town. I've got no chance against you in the town. You kind of want faster tanks for this, just so you can piss about, you know, diving in and out. Imagine this in T-50s. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe you didn't kill me. Yeah, I know. I've changed the sh shell now. What shell did you have it on? Very good tank. Huh? What shell did you have it on? Just normal armor piercing. I hit your turret. You hit my turret? I thought you hit the back of it. Well, it looked like the turret, but I was aiming at the back of you. My tank's not crap, and it can take a beating, but it, it's, it's not as good as a Tiger. Hello. Found you. I wouldn't be going that way. Damn it, I hit your track and it didn't damage it. Have you gone outside the town? May have, yeah. Oh, you come back. Oh, I've hit you three times now and only one's done any damage. That sucks. Your tank's actually a lot more strong than I thought it was. Well, KV-1s are quite tough. Shouldn't be. Not to a Tiger's 88. Where are you gone now? I hate these little back streets. I can barely fit. Oh, I turn around, mate. I turn around. I saw you on my radar for a second. I think all our planes are dead, man. No, then, actually not. In fact, um, my planes are being yours. <laughs> Damn it, I missed. You're going to kill me now. <laughs> no. <I'm dead. laughs> I don't think you are. You're on fire. Oh, what's the fucking. Six, Apparently six. I haven't... Oh, there we go. That's so annoying. My load is... My gun is dead. <laughs> my gun is dead as well. <laughs> yeah. I've got like a week to reload. Take that, your gun barrel. <laughs> yeah, I've got my shell ready now though, bitch. You try it. You just poke out a little bit more. <laughs> I need to angle. Let's angle this shit. <laughs> I can see you around the corner. Yeah, I'm preparing a better shot. Oh. Yes. I hit you, so I hit your suspension. Yeah. You come around that corner, you're dead. Changing to... You probably heard that. I've got a heavier armor piercing round, I'm going to use that. Oh, have you been using armor piercing composite rigid? Because it's the heaviest. I haven't got them off. Oh, I see you. Yes, I'm prepared. You should have came in, mate. I was actually dead. There was nothing I could do. My gun was dim. Damaged. I wonder if I could shoot through that building.
take that. Oh, it's saying I'm ready. It's saying I'm ready to fire. Can you not fire yes. when you're repairing? No. Yeah, oh, you for can if your guns work. That actually went. Did you see that? Did you see that? What? Oh, you didn't see that. I've got that recorded. You'll like that. You'll you like that. Through your barrel. It actually went straight down the barrel. Yes, that's what I was aiming at. I was aiming at your barrel. Did your barrel not get damaged? Yeah, you got me earlier. Then I retreated. Yeah, repaired. but the second time I aimed against your barrel as well. And it said I hit. Uh, nah, you must have glanced it. Well, I think I did well considering I was in an inferior tank. <laughs> to be honest, I thought you were going to kill me. That's why I retreated. Your planes are losing quite badly in the sky. I haven't seen a single flipping plane for ages. Motherfucking spawn <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> uh. I didn't think you could spawn over there. Oh, you damaged my cannon barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I said I got a critical hit on you. What did I actually get? did. I don't know. Don't think that hit you at all. That glanced. You oh, I want that tank, you fuck. Oh, I wouldn't be turning that way, mate. Yeah, I can't actually, can't actually get around to get nearer to you. No, I don't. I'll turn it down. Oh, uh, there's really, there's not anything I can do now. This tank's quite weak compared to the other one. Yeah. Yeah, that actually killed almost everybody in the tank, that one. And from that we learn never to trust anything Barb says. Hope you enjoyed that, and hope to see you soon. Take care.